guys, it's Mark Sickby, Mr. Sci-Fi, also known as Mark Sickby, Space Command. And I'm here on Hollywood Boulevard, which you can see on either side, because I just saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and I want to discuss it. And if you look behind me, let's see if I can position this right, there is an ad for the invaders, and that is actually set dressing from when they shot Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, because it's set in 1969. And this was a show, a science fiction show, that was on the air at that time starring Roy Thinnes. And the reason I wanted to talk about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is first of all, um, it's a really good movie and I highly recommend it. And also because uh, I grew up here in, and I was here in 1969 and there was a lot of very cool stuff going on relating to science fiction in that year. It was a year after 2001 had come out and it, it um, showed at the Pantages Theater in Hollywood, which is where I saw it. And, uh, and in 1969, Star Trek was still on the air, The Avengers was on the air, they were shooting Doctor Who in England. Uh, they were also, of course, Man Landed on the Moon. It was 50 years ago that Woodstock was here, and a lot of science fiction writers were uh, hanging out with rock stars. So, for instance, David Bowie, of course, would be in The Man Who Fell to Earth. Theodore Sturgeon was hired by Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young to write a, uh, uh, a post-apocalyptic screenplay based on their song, Wooden Ships, which they performed at Woodstock. An amazing, amazing time, and uh, and I highly recommend Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It's a very, very good movie. Uh, Brad Pitt and uh, Leonardo DiCaprio are really good in it. It's wonderfully written and directed. It summons up that time perfectly in uh, in terms of all of the uh, all of what was going on at the time. But also it was a time of great hope and uh, and anticipation. But also, of course, of great darkness. The Vietnam War was going on, and of course the uh, the Sharon Tate murders. Uh, happened, and uh, I'm just letting someone know that they can they can cross in front of this camera because I'm shooting myself. So, um, but anyway, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for everything. Go see that movie. Subscribe to Mr. Sci-Fi. Ding the bell below, and uh, buy Space Command shares. Pledge to Space Command. Pledge to Patreon. All of that stuff, and uh, we'll talk to you really soon. So, thanks a lot. And um, the uh, history of science fiction film will be continuing very shortly. So talk to you soon. Bye-bye.